You know, we love the great outdoors. Everything about it. Mountains, snow, well, not so much snow. But waking up next to lakes, rivers, streams, peaceful, tranquility. Just being out there amongst much of nature. Okay. Bo Cake and I have been doing this for quite some time. In our younger days, we didn't have the resources that we have now. We used to have to go to the forest ranges and pick up maps, books, and study. We learn about orientation. In fact, we took a wilderness survival course and started becoming wilderness survival instructors. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders, everybody. Today in this video, we're gonna talk about how to find free camping so when it's your turn to go out and great outdoors. But remember, this video is about motorcycle camping. And if you do not have a motorcycle, you can find out something also by looking at these websites we're gonna bring you. We're gonna go over four websites. Our number one go-to website, we're gonna spend a little time on that one and show you how well put together it is professionally and how we use it. So, just jump right into this. The easiest way, the easiest way by far to find free camping it's obviously YouTube. So you can go on YouTube, type of free camping, all type of YouTube channels are gonna come up. But if you don't feel like sorting through all that, then you can use the websites. In fact, we use YouTube a lot, and then we will go to the website and find out can we find those campgrounds that these people were camping at. So we're gonna start off right now with the very first one that we use gonna bring all these websites, we're gonna, we're gonna cover four. We make there some honorable mention ones in there also because we have specific websites that we like to go to. And this first one is going to be the US Forest Service. Now with the technology that we have now, US Forest Service, in fact, all these websites I'm gonna talk about have apps that you can use on your phone. I just choose to use the computer. So let's go through this right quick. U.S. Forest Service website. Now the thing about the U.S. Forest Service is their website is about everything about the U.S. Forest. It's not just about camping. So if you have a website that you use for camping, go ahead and throw it in the comment section because we can use all the help we can use. But here's the U.S. Forest Service website. Nicely and well designed. That's one. So let's move on to the next one. Now you got to remember when we showing you these websites, we are talking about motorcycle camping. And our main criteria for a motorcycle campground is, can we have easy accessibility to that campground? Now what we're talking about is the roads, because as you can see, when it comes to dispersed camping, you know, I'm talking about off the grid, dispersed camping, boondocking, whatever you want to call it, with no water, no electricity, no restrooms, all these type of things. To get there, you have to go through some mud, some gravel, some grass, maybe even some water to get to these places. So you will have to be confident in your riding abilities. And Cake and I, we ride gold wings and we have regular street tires on our bikes. But if you are an off-road biker, adventure biker, riding a the back road, these are gonna be great resources for you. So we're gonna go to the next one that we look at a lot. It's all stays. Here it is. The greatest thing about all stays is just what the name says, all stays. So let me scroll down here. Look at this free guys online, camping rooms for drivers. Matter of fact, let me go down just a little further and watch this. So many app they have camp and RV app, truck and travel app, <clears throat> excuse me, and all stays hotels by chain app. It's a great resource and a great site. And if you come up back here and I click on camping, so now that I'm on campground, computer take all day, all the stakes over here, uh, and that's the apps on this side, on the right side again. I'm not too crazy about all states, although they will give you everything you need for a staying and lodging. It's just kind of all over the place right now. So let's move forward. This next website I'm gonna show you is one that we actually used when we first started looking for free camping using a computer. And that is freecampsite.net. Just like the name said, if you Google free campsite, just free campsite, that's it. 
this will probably be the very first one at the top of the list to come to. So let's go to the campsite, the web page itself. It's just this simple. It show you the entire map, and all you gotta do is click. As a matter of fact, let me do California. Okay, type in California. I have California typed in. As you can see, it will bring up the states, and you can see the number of campsites in a location and when where you wish to camp. Also, if you go up here, you can plan your trip across the United States with keepfreecampsite.net, and you can add campsites and reviews with campsites. This was our first go-to spot. I'm not gonna stay on it too long, so let's move on to our real go-to spot that we use most of the time. Now this next one is our go-to website that we use when we try to find free camping. In fact, sometimes we'll click on the web page that's on here and it will bring us to some of those other web pages. That way we don't need to look at four or five different web pages just to find free camping. And that one is campendium.net. What I like the most about Campendium is it is very professionally built and easy to navigate. Matter of fact, let me show you here. Okay, I'm on Campendium webpage right here. You can become a member if you want to. We're not members. We sign in, so when we sign in, we can look at pictures and everything. But look how easy it is. In fact, professionally built. Let me scroll down before I start talking about these tabs up here. Scroll down and right in your face to say, where do you want to camp? I mean, where do you want to camp? They have my recent searches here. So as you come on, when you sign on, you have your reach search. Then you go down here. Look how beautiful this thing is built. Top campgrounds of the week. Even though all these campgrounds may not be free, so you can find any type of camping you wish. Camping news. Scroll down just a little bit more before we head back to the top. And they have videos. What I really love about this also, they have videos because they have a YouTube channel. You can go to the YouTube channel and find all kinds of resources for camping. So going back up to the top, I love the way this thing is professionally built. Look at these tabs here. You can search sites. All, all the ones we covered have search sites. But you click, you go right here. I'm not even clicking on it. RV parks, free camping, which we're going to go over that in a second. National parks, national forests, state parks, blog, and so far and so on. So this is what we're going to do now. I'm going to show you how to do it. I just don't go right here and look for anything. If you look here, there's free camping all over the United States. You look to the left, there are the states. You go down a little lower, you can click on all the states. So what I normally do is just click on the tab itself. And when I click on the tab, it's going to come to this again. Free camping all over the United States, free camping. And what I like to do is scroll down to the state I'm in or the state I know I want to stop in and get all the states in one shot. Free camping near me, wherever you are, USA, alphabetical order, Canada, and then Mexico. So once I get here, I was going to pick Montana because I know we have some photos on one of the campgrounds that we've done in Montana. Pick Montana and look, it shows best free camping in Montana. Then there's some photos here. You click on any one of those photos, it's going to go to that campground itself. Then you got best free camping information, reviews. I'll talk about reviews in a minute. And the same thing down here, all over the United States. Oh, I'm sorry, best free camping in Montana. But what I do is go just to the map. I click on a map. Once I click on a map, I know the direction we are traveling and I can find a campground in that particular area. Once the map come up, it's gonna show me campgrounds in Montana. So here it is, Montana. And I can say, okay, I wanna, in this case, I'm gonna go to the one that we camped at, that we done a video on. We were going to ride Beartooth Highway, so we look for a free camping. We always look for at least two free camping. One, if we go to, if it's full, then we have a backup and we go. If you look at that video, you'll see us going down one road and then we had to switch and go down another road because the campground was full. And if you know the name of the campground that you're searching for, you can just type it in. And I remember, or go to your recent searches. I remember the name of the campground was, I think it was Inner Basin. Interbasin Dispersed Camping, yes. Interbasin Dispersed Camping in the town of Red Lodge, Montana. Click on Interbasin, and it's gonna bring the camp page right up. And here's what I really love about this. The minute they bring up, you really don't have to search for anything. Right here in the left, just like if you was reading a book. They have the name of the campground, Forest Service Road, where it is, the, local, the, the town is in, like a lot of the sites have. 
an official website if you need to go to a website for it. And the best thing, GPS coordinates, or you can go on Google and set your own GPS. Matter of fact, let me click on this. And once, once it comes up, you can see the, the GPS coordinates. Now, you got to be careful when you're doing coordinates on Google. When we actually done this and tried to find a campground, we couldn't find those coordinates. But it says basins here, but the dispersed camping is just beyond basins. So let me get out of Google and go back to where we was on. And then you have photos here. In fact, matter of fact, before I go to the photos, look over here to the left. There's an arrow right here. Click that tab. Okay, there it is. And it expands and you can write your review. Everything is convenient. I love the way it's put together. You can add photos, write a note that's not part of a review, share a video report sales services, all these things. This is what I love about this. So let me get out there, collapse that back down. And then you can either look at photos by pressing on any photos here or review all the photos, 15 photos. Prior to us uploading our photo, it only had eight photos on here. So you can put your photos up from the campground when you were there. And that's what I like about it. Here's ours. Uh, let me click on a couple of them. That's was patches. I mean, we had a great time. Beautiful site, beautiful, beautiful site. Next, continue on. Now we had a, a blast at this location right next to the river. And this is what I love about campaigning. Now, when it's time to go back, do not go back and hit the back button. Just go right up here and you can see Montana Free Camping, Red Lodge, and a dispersion. I click in this dispersion, go back to looking at more information on this particular campsite. So I would just go down and I would do reviews. I said, I'm going to cover reviews right quick. I'm going to show you how we do reviews. This particular campground didn't have a lot of reviews. I think it only has three. And actually, this is ours, our first one. And two more. But anyway, what we do when we do reviews, we like to look at the good reviews. If we go to a place that has five star reviews, whether it's campgrounds or restaurants or entertainment venues, it doesn't matter. It's easy to choose from the good five star reviews. So what we do is maybe look at one or two five star reviews and then we'll go down to the negative reviews, the one and two stars and find out what did we expect from this location. So if we decide to go to the location based on the five star reviews, then we're not surprised because we read the bad reviews and we know that these places may exist. Hopefully the owners take care of it prior to us getting there. Example, we went to the four corners, the four corners where the four states meet. I think it's Utah, Arizona, Nevada, and Colorado. I forget what it was. But when we read the bad reviews, it was some horrible reviews. All they're trying to do is take your money. There's nothing there. It's hot. There's no water there. There's people there trying to sell you items. Of course, you know, it's on an Indian reservation, so they're making a living. And the monument is not where the Four Corners actually met. I was highly disappointed. I should have listened to what other people said. Well, if you read bad reviews and you went anyway, why would you expect anything different? That person just had it in their mind that they were not going to have a good time. Cake and I went and had a blast. I mean, a blast because when we got there, yes, it was gravel parking lot. Everything that the person said on that review was true, but we made the best of it. Met some great people there, had some good times, met some other motorcyclists there. I mean, it was fantastic. And that's what we do when it comes to campground reviews. But our main criteria, our main criteria is can our bikes get in that location? And because we have confidence and our skills and our riding skills, we don't have too many places that we haven't got into. So I have to stay right there. But I want to before I go away, I want to do some honorable mention. So let me click on this honorable mention. Uh, some of that we use actually this next one we use maybe only twice. And that's Bureau of Land Management. They have a lot of free campground. Excellent, excellent campgrounds all over the United States. Well, not over the United States, the primarily Western part of the United States. And this is why we don't use it as a go-to that much. But there are some excellent, excellent free camping all over the United States. And we found some good spots here in the Western part of the United States using Bureau of Land Management. The next one, let's click on it right quick, already have it uploaded, is the same as Bureau of Land Management. And that's in Florida. We use this one exclusively in Florida. However, we do not go to the Florida Water Management District to use it. We just go on Campendium and if we find a Florida free campsite, you click on that, it will bring us directly to here. And one thing I like about Florida, you have to register, even though it's free, you have to register, they will give you a, a, a code to the lock that's on the gate. You go inside, lock the gate back, and then you go there and you have some excellent free camping 
in Florida. That's all we have for now, so I hope you got something out of this video. And if so, make sure you give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already and watching it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. But that's all we, like I said, that's all we have for right now. If you have any other websites or any other resources you're using for camping and or free camping, make sure you put it in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. But if you're out riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, Ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And I'm out. Peace. Go camping.